Okay, so we thought we'd show you this, which is a radial engine. Are you a ready? A massive radial engine. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Ben, this is a, a Pratt & Whitney uh, 4,360 cubic inch motor. There's uh, four cylinders in a row, and then there's four rows of them. So four times seven is 28. So it's a 28 cylinder uh, radial engine. Now these were used, now this particular motor was owned by Howard Hughes and uh, he, um, he died in 76. He owned this motor. It changed hands uh, one time and then I bought it. And uh, I had dreams of making a car out of it but it burns 195 gallons of fuel an hour. Holy whoa! Yeah, yeah, it, it's a serious consumption. But these came out in, uh, oh God, uh, the Corsair X model, experimental ones, they put these, the, these are, are big Reno air race motors that they put in uh, uh, like, uh, Sea Furies, and they they put some of these in. They're just a big, big time motor, make a lot of horsepower. They're they put out about 3,600 to 4,300 uh, horsepower, depending on the configuration, you know. But uh, they named them the Wasp, and some of the other things about them, they were called the Miracle Motor. Uh, how one man. Well, many men conceived this motor, and uh, it's got one great big crankcase or crankshaft that goes out the top, and then uh, it's got one big rod and uh, six other helper rods hook onto that one rod uh, in each, each each one of the banks. Wow! Yeah, it's immense. It's like the biggest engine I've ever seen. Yeah, um, 195 gallons of fuel an hour seems a lot yeah that might so if you build a car out of this Rodney uh, it's a radial right so uh -huh. it, how does that work does it want to twist itself right or would it just feel well you know it'll torque twist it you'd have to do some real customized body and suspension and make it real long and uh, uh, it would be a challenge I'd just like to point out this thing's as big as a Ford Pinto, so it's not going in a yeah. small car, that's for yeah. sure. What's the weight of it? Uh, it's fairly light, considering what it is, but about 3,500 pounds. And all aluminum? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That'll be a challenge to put that into a car, for sure. But it is something that's so cool, it's just... Now, there's a nice motor I at. have over here, Ben, that's a little bit smaller, and... Uh, it's close to the same horsepower. This is a Curtis Wright 3350. Another radial. Yeah, another radial. And this is uh, two rows of nine. Wow. This is a really cool looking thing. Wow. Two rows of nine? Yes. Yeah. 18 cylinders. Yeah. Radials are just it's fascinating. It's 3,350 cubic inch. Uh, three turbos. Three turbos as yeah, well. You see the turbos? Oh, yeah. So this is 3,000 horsepower, and you got a lot less moving mass. So I was thinking about if we ever did do a car, it'd be easier to build it out of this. Would you build it and put it in the rear, like a VW? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's an incredible looking thing. This, and I suppose that one's more economical, right? This one does a little bit better. You Only know. 100 gallons an hour? You know, I don't have an exact figure for you. I have to look it up. <laughs> you know? But but yeah, you've got 10 less cylinders, you know. So it's bound to be a little bit more economical. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be a Prius, but it'll probably be okay. So you take not uh, uh, 18 divided into 3,350 cubic inch, and that gives you the, the size of each one of the, the cylinders. Wow. That is another massive engine. Yeah. And, uh, well, so we're just going to do this as a little bit of edges, and then we're going to show you this really cool truck we've got parked right next to us, which is really awesome. Oh, the phone company truck. <laughs>